Road to victory. I see what you did there, game with the pun in the name and then yeah. Sounds like something I'd make. You and your teammate must row your boat to the island. You each control or so coordinate your rows. If your boat gets stuck, decide who will row the way out of it. If you both row, you might stay stuck. Just perform a rowing action. Like, be like a cat and you're pawing at something. That's basically the, the function for this. Just gotta get to the center island. Boo! Alright, come on, Boo. I would like you to turn it, please. Come on, we got a straight shot. We got a straight shot. There we go. Poor Dry Bones and Toad. I forgot how much, uh, how many bad things happen to the losers of the minigames in this. Alright, Boo, what are you gonna do? You're rolling a one, and, oh, this could be bad. Pit Pocket Pinball. Looks like we need to steal from Toad. Oh, uh, uh, Toad. If you land it in the center and not in any of like the pockets, then you uh, basically just lose out on everything. It's just you get the happening space, but you get no benefits from it. Well, Toads definitely could be making that money back. Go, Pixel Boy. Yep, you get a lot of points for using the power. So this kind of like Daisy and Peach's ability. Ooh, I did not realize he had that candy on him. That ooh, ooh. I hate you, Dry Bones. Oh, the 32 coins. All right, well, at least you get to be my guinea pig. Was that a sanctum that had King Boo in it, or was it not? No, it wasn't. Hmm. Alright. Uh, I, I would actually like a low roll for once. I said a low roll! Alright, what kind of candy can I get? Can I get... Cash is that candy. Destroy half someone's coins. You'll throw a dart at and choose your victim. But it's 20 coins. Everything here is 20 coins. So do I want to lose all the money? Uh, no one really has me anywhere uh, close to a tie in the coin lead. Don't really want to use the Dulio candy. And the Thrice candy is tempting. But I think I'd probably get it from a random piece of candy on the ground, so no. So no doubt that's gonna just angle and turn that way. Boo? Oh, I probably should have gotten it from Boo. If Dry Bones has it up here, then he's guaranteed... Well, no, he's not guaranteed to start unless he wins the minigame. If I go down this way, and there's a chance that that could be a... Uh, that's the nerve-wracking thing about this board. You don't know what anything could be. You know what? No. Oh, we get a DK space. Nice! DK blocks the um, pitfall. DK's in the house! No need to worry about pitfalls with him swinging in the wings. And if you bump into DK in one of those rooms, he gives you a star as a present. So hurry for DK. Big downside though, all DK spaces have turned into Bowser spaces. Oh. I thought DK just gives you the star for landing on his space. I didn't realize you actually had to get to the pitfall room. Ooh, now it's a two-way race.
at the chop wash. Scrub all the paint off the chain shop. The faster you scrub, the sooner you get the paint off. Controls, perform a very phallic action. Or turn it sideways, whatever. They knew what they were doing with that uh, motion. They knew it, and if we get a certain minigame, then you will know that they knew what they were going for. All right, swing it like a madman. This is a very easy minigame for the human players. There is no chance you are ever gonna lose to the AI on any difficulty. You just swing it away. Worst case scenario, you accidentally have the Wii remote slip out of your hands and go flying into the TV. So should we probably get the paint away from the chain chomp so it doesn't happen again, or...? Alright, Dry Bones, I would actually like a low roll from you for once. Uh, don't worry about the pitfall. I'm sure everything will be fine. Ooh, seven. Nope, he got DK. It seems that that was a pitfall! I just guaranteed Buddha Star. Nope. DK, you betrayed me! Wow, I cannot believe I inadvertently gave Buddha Star. Just as my luck would show. Although I do kind of like Flex and Boo down there. DK's left the building, so now Pitfalls have returned. Dude, still up in the attic. It's actually a pretty nice little place. It kind of reminds me of like something you'd see on like Ratatouille or something. All right, Dry Bones. Please, low roll. That's not a low roll! And that was definitely King Boo. Damn it. Oh, but he doesn't have 10 coins! Nice! No star for you, Dry Bones. I just need to, you know, not roll a one and pull someone here who can steal the star from me. Which means you know exactly what I'm gonna roll. An eight. I had it planned all this time. All right, here's someone with some actual money. I got the good ending on Luigi's Mansion after all. Speaking of which, I really need to play the remake of Luigi's Mansion. It's like one of the last few games coming out for the 3DS. So, you know, a remake of one of my favorite GameCube games. It's warrant a playthrough from me. And Pelvic Thrust! Whoa! That was a really weird mansion layout that we did. It was like really straightforward for what this board is usually accustomed to. Alright, there we go. Four player minigame, and it is gonna be. Please let it be my the best minigame out of. Oh, we just barely got it! That is such an infamous minigame in this. I'm so sad that it got skipped. Alright, sick and twisted. Yeah, this game is sick and twisted for skipping that one. Jump from one splitting platform to the next and a race to the finish. Watch out for the bullet bills as they tend to fly just when you need to jump. It's the standard hold sideways, move and jump. Ugh, I really wanted that other minigame. So stupid, but it's so amazing. Also, I feel like this is a retread of a past Mario Party minigame. I, I want to say Mario Party 3. Oh, I'm immediately out due to poor platforming. There goes Toad. It's up to the end, dead boys, now. Who's gonna win? Not Dry Bones, that's for sure. Who's gonna go uncontested unless he fails a jump? I wonder what happens if you accidentally jump on top of the bullet bill. Ooh, Boo's cutting it close. Oh, can he make it? I 
I've actually seen uh, someone fail that last jump just as the ending is right in front of them. Gotta love that flex and boo. Alright, Boo, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when Luigi comes for you with the poultry gust? Go to the shop, and I didn't realize how high Toad's coin count was. I guess it makes sense, you know, with the absurd amount of coins he got in that special room, plus his bit sized candy. But at least most of it got taken away from him. Well, he spent most of it, and another portion was eaten. So, kind of taken away from him. Alright. Uh, you know what? We'll use the Springo candy. Honestly, any place that we land won't really um, uh, hurt me too much. Right. I could really go for either Toad or Dry Bones. Boo's okay as well, because I can get a chance to look at the shop. But we are going for Toad. Now I just need to not roll a one. I think either Toad or Boo have the happening star in this game. Vampire candy, nice. I'll use that next turn and hopefully not roll a one. Or peg a one, I guess. Alright, come on, give us the right minigame. Give it to us. Ah. In the nick of time. Turn the clock hands to match the image. Whoever gets three matches first wins. Slow down your rotation when you get close to the correct time so you don't pass it up. Turn forwards and backwards to twist the clock hands. Pretty simple. Although I wonder if the force that you turn it uh, dictates uh, how fast the hands go. Jeez, this is Luigi's Mansion. This is the clock room from it. Ah, Boo got it. Come on. Ooh, finicky. There we go. Ah, Toad was too close to that one. There we go. More go. Too far. Come on. There we go. Now you gotta fight the clockwork soldiers. Oh god, I don't even want to be reminded of that boss. Oh god, maybe I am fighting the clockwork soldiers. Hooray! You just got possessed by ghosts! Even when Luigi wins, he loses. Alright, Bougie and the Springo candy. He's probably gonna try and land on me, if I am correct. He's gonna go for... Dry Bones. So, close enough to me. Ooh, and twice candy as well. Ooh, but he landed on Bowser. Whoa! 
Oh, residents, I can't speak this fast because Boo won't let him uh, talk. Ooh, Toad, you evil bastard. Six, oof, four, and then he got, oh, he just got me, I hate you, Toad. Why couldn't it be a five? You would have gotten the happening space. No, well, please, we will get a chance to see Drybone's vampire version. And he got King Boo as well. But he doesn't have the money for it! Poor Drybones! Always being the one to find King Boo, but never having the money for it. You gotta feel bad for him. Alright, let's see. I need to roll a. One, two, I need to roll a three or higher to get to Kifu. And just as a little extra insurance, because Toad took all my candy, or all my money, and I know for a fact Dry Bones is going to be uh, using this candy next turn. Oh, please let me land on a ten, or a five, anything but a one. Damn it! Every single time I use this candy, it's always a one. It's my curse. It's forever my curse. I feel like the darts just home in on the one coin. It's like stupid rare to actually land on ten. Either that, I'm just throwing it at the wrong time. All right, drew a higher, or no, I need a four higher. Six, nice, we got him. Uh, what do you got? Do you have twice candy? Ooh. Warm candy, but I won't have enough for the star, so no. Sorry, I can't do it. Stars are more important. So, hey, can you change this music now? If I pay you this 10 coins? become a pretty high uh, scoring board for me. And up she goes. Whoa. All right, it looks like we're going down for this turn. I think that might have undone Bowser's thing. Yeah, the music went back to normal. So thank you, Boo, for um, changing the music back for the 10 coins. Alright, what are we going to get? We are going to get Snow Way Out. I mean, granted, after today, when it was like frost and freezing this morning in the middle of October. Makes sense to use this minigame. One player has 30 seconds to make three rivals fall from the roof by throwing snowballs and icing up the shingles. Throw s throw in snowballs, ice the roof, make sure make foes slip on the run, watch out for slick spots. Controls, boo just has to point and shoot. Us, we just gotta move and jump. Very easy. There's Toad, Dry Bones, and myself. Kind of reminds me of the lodge you stayed in the, the DDR uh, Mario game. Wow, Toad, way to be super helpful. You too, Dry Bones. N nice work there. Ah. <clears throat> Although I am one to talk. Well, at least Boo's still flexing. You can't put a damper on that smile. It's too pure. Boo's always in a good mood. All right, Boo, where are you going to go? You're going to use that twice to me, of course. Ooh, oh, he almost 
Uh, no, that was a 10, not a 1. He almost got 20, though. So he's going to be covering a lot of ground in this mansion. And he's going to be paying Womp. Alright, is this going to lead to a Sanctum? Or is this... Was that just a big waste of money? No, it just leads to more rooms. That's probably a Sanctum in there. And without a doubt, that is probably going to be King Boo. We haven't really had a pitfall room in a while. Ooh, Springo Candy. Toad is definitely going to use that if he doesn't get, um... I guess technically there's no way he can't get any roll without going into the next room. And yep, just as I thought he was going to use it. That actually looks pretty intimidating, I'll be honest. Five. Leave it to the skeleton to get a decent uh, throw with that. I guess he was just sick and tired of running into Team Boo without the money to pay for a star. And more Springo candy. And he already lost three of those coins. Poor Dry Bones. Even when he li wins, he still loses a little. Star so five. I think we're out of the first room at least. And ooh, voice candy, nice. Although that is not as nice. Alright. Crops and robbers. That's that's a dumb name. Clear your team's garden first. One of you pulls carrots, the other wax Montes. Coordinate your efforts. You may need to target a specific carrot or Monty to allow your teammate to move ahead. Controls. Swing the hammer with that. Move around and then just swing to slam the hammer down. Controls for me is to just do that and then flick it back to A, B to grab the carrot and then flick it back to pull it. And of course, we got Shy Guys, the most perfect boys of the Mario series. Come on, face down. There we go. Ah, we won. There we go. And we won. A oh, pretty easy mini game. Honestly, with all the bad stuff that oh, oh no, we're just leaving with the harvest. Honestly, with all the bad stuff that has been happening to the losing side team. Okay, we steal their harvest as well. That's pretty bad. But I was kind of thinking like a Monty Moho would just like pop out underneath them and just swallow them whole or something. All right, Boo. Really? That's us? Oh, that's a Sanctum and that's King Boo. Hello, younger me. How's it going? Alright, Boo's got... He's in second place now with two stars, and he's got three pieces of candy. I don't know what candy he has, though. Oh, but that... Oh, wait, I think I know what one of the candy is, and I'm afraid of it, because I think that is swamp candy. Whoa! Whoa! Every single time, he is just super shocked that the house can jump like that. But then again, if you saw a mansion jump, wouldn't you go whoa every time as well? Oh man, the piano from Mario 64, I didn't even notice you there. 
Rebels, what are you doing? At least save that for another time! You just completely wasted it. Tied up a toad and uh, progress. I need to make a high roll because oh, thank God I got that twice candy. Because not no doubt Boo is going to be using that plum candy next turn. All right, I need the high roll, please, for the love of God, let me roll a high roll. Five and seven. Well, at least it's guaranteed not to be hit by Boo. Hey, Mauser, can I please get like a little help stealing some money back from a certain mushroom who stole half my coins? It's time for a battle mini game. Gather the coins. What's it going to be? Will it be 50 coins? Nope. 10 again. It's always 10. Ready for 40 coins. What will it be? Who knows? Will it be luck based or will it be skill based? It is skill based. Snipe for the picking. Okay, bring the best, bring your best game. I was gonna say bring the best game, but this isn't really the best game. Rack up the biggest score by shooting the target zone with the highest numbers. The high score zones aren't always in the middle of the target, so pay close attention. And you actually have to work pretty fast for this, because as you can see in the little preview, they go by super fast. It's just a point and shoot game. It's like taking a picture, just point and shoot. You know, Boo, if you actually aimed it, you probably would have hit the target. God damn it. Oh, come on. Ah. Really go for a hundred one right about now. Finish. That was oh man, Boo ran away with that. Jeez. You only had a thousand points, and I got nothing. So Boo stole ten coins from me, although the mini game did. I mean, at least I still have technically have enough for King Boo, but still, that was boring. Ooh, but you get a chance to get the Donkey Kong again. <laughs> and if we get to a pitfall room, we get a star. So it goes three and goes there. That's definitely not going to be a Sanctum. Dry Bones is going, and it's a one, of course. Hey, Dry Bones, how's it going? Mind stop stealing my money from me? Alright, got a subs an eight. Ooh, and twice candy as well, nice. Alright, who what do you have? You, wow, I got so many choices. Nah. I'll keep the twice candy I got for free. Ooh, 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 me likey. Also, me now have to win minigame or get uh, Pitfall or else me not get Star. Ah, uh, we almost got the fitting minigame. But we get Bumper Balloons. You and your team must pop balloons that match your team's color before the rival team pops theirs first. Watch the watch where you're driving. Don't accidentally pop the other team's balloons. 
very simple. Just turn steer to so every reverse. Toad! Dry roads, what are you two doing? Come on, come on. Ah! Toad decided to go dance with the skeleton for a while. So I now have to get a pitfall room, else I do not get the star. I mean, it's a two and, th two and three shots, but knowing my luck, it's going to be the one and three. And also, it's the last five turns. We are coming down to the wire. Calling all winners, calling all losers, we got a shakeup coming. Yes, hold the show. We've only got five turns left. Let's look at the standings. First place is me. Second place is Boo. Third is Dry Bones. And last is poor Toad. Now, we head to the final five. Anything could happen, especially since it's time for... Jump Charity! Can losers become winners? Let's find out. Let's give our last place player just one piece of Dulio candy. Can you catch up now, Toad? <laughs> now let's give you all a run for your money. We'll pop coin bags on the red spaces and one coin onto the other spaces. Hooray, pity party! Wee! I'm feeling lightheaded. Everyone hustle for the bonus coins. That shook things up. Anything can happen during these final five turns. His mouth terrifies me. It's like a more demented version of Chuck Quizmo. Also, Blue has Julio candy as well. He is definitely going to be Dual and Dry Bones. Honestly, at this point, it still could be anybody's game. Boo and Toad both have a good shot at getting uh, the Happening Star. Honestly, I don't know who would have the Shopping Star if that's one of the choices. It is gonna be... Spectre Inspector! Alright, that's a pretty fitting minigame. And, of course, I can't read the rules or stuff because I'm not the one playing. Oh man. Oh man, this is spooky. It's got booze everywhere. Also, that terrifying piano. Oh, hey, it's actually one of the ghosts from Luigi's Mansion. I think that's the first time we've seen them since that game. They kind of look nice in um, HD. Oh, Shy Guy was hiding in the painting. And Boo was hiding in the other painting. Anyone hiding in the terrifying piano? Just some more ghosts. Up, oh, uh, there was a penguin in the vase. Also, there was Flutter, uh, Goomba. I think that's a uh, amp. Was that what they were called? A fly guy and all that. And a uh, Womp and Womp. 